Hey team, welcome back to another episode of the RX Debrief, your unfiltered fitness platform connecting the New Zealand fitness community. Uh, it's been a rough few days here at uh, 808 House of Training. We just had our birthday uh, birthday party. Yes. Birthday party on Saturday night. And uh, yeah, fair to say it was a rough one. It was, and it's still a rough one. We went hard, eh? Yeah, that's everyone for sure. Went hard. Everyone went hard. How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling a bit dusty still from it, but um, <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I just opened up one of these Recover Killcliffe plans and it's just like filled my parchness <laughs> with goodness. Uh, yes, <laughs> that's the word. But other than that, all good. How are you, Levi? I'm not going to lie. I didn't go as hard as you two, so I actually feel <laughs> yeah. all right. So yeah, I'm all good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's on a bit of struggle street at the moment. It's, um, um, but we hope that you guys have had an awesome weekend. Mm. Uh, we're actually back because of these little cans this is a kill cliff all right and we've got a new sponsor and yeah. she is, is she is on the show today her name is jillian o'neill did i say that yes, yes. jillian o'neill lucky producer ben's here you can cut out half of that out <laughs> and um we're going to invite her onto the show and we're going to talk about kill cliff and what they do for the fitness community um and we're going to go over some other stuff too so we'll welcome on jillian o'neill yeah, the lady herself. Welcome, team. How's it going? Oh, yeah, good. good. Good, thank you. How are you? I saw your little party. Was that the one where you guys were all wearing onesies? Yes. yes. Yeah, yeah. That's right. It was a onesie theme. So it was. Uh, I think <laughs> me and my girlfriend came as Pokemon. Yeah. Yeah. Pikachu. Oh, you were Pikachu. Uh, Pikachu. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it was a good theme. Good party. Yep. How was your week? Pretty quiet. Um, we're building a house at the moment, so plenty of things going on. But um, yeah, we had um, a couple of guests down into our box, and so we got to train a couple of sessions with them. So we can talk about that a bit later if you like. But yeah, yeah it's good. It's good. Awesome. I'm on the nights this morning. Yeah, nice. yeah. Well, I'd like. I can't wait to see that one. What is your? Yeah. So pretty much, we've got you on the show today. Uh, as we want to we kind of want uh, our our community and the people in this community to know more about. Uh, about you and about Kilcliffe. So kind of give us a rundown on what Kilcliffe is. Yeah, so um, for those that don't know about Kilcliffe, um, it was established in the USA by a, a Navy SEAL. And he was going through Navy SEAL training at Bud School. And he was saying that it was some of his toughest training he'd ever done. And at the end of the day, they were feeding them on pizza and Gatorade. And he was just gobsmacked that, you know, they're feeding them crap and yet they're going through some of the toughest training in the world. So he kind of made it his mission that he was going to invent a drink that was going to be um, healthy for you, feel your body's needs, and also taste really good. And so he actually came up with Kilcliffe Blood Orange, which is like the OG um, drink, and um, it has kind of gone from there. So there's only plant extracts in Kilcliffe. There's no sugar. It's sweetened with... A naturally occurring sugar found in um, lichen, algae, and mushrooms called erythritol. And um, there's quite a bit of science around the drink with regards to he kind of analyzed what happens to your body when you train, um, you know, inflammation, some physiological stress, wanted to support the circulatory system. And so those are the plant extracts that he put in there. So the Kilcliff Recover in particular has been specifically formulated to support your body at the end of a hard day, hard night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Any other occasion where you need hydration. So yeah, it's kind of just grown from there. And since then, a few more drinks have been added to the range. Yeah. Can I ask what what um what what motivated you to get on the Kilcliff bandwagon? Like besides, he was a Navy SEAL, and it was and it's all plant extracts and all of that. What what made you want to be a part of it? So my husband and I we um, discovered CrossFit about six years ago, and it changed our lives. We were little fatties that thought we were fit and um, you know we were always doing training and playing rugby and netball and things like that but everyone thinks they're fit until they try CrossFit for the first time and then you realise that you're not. Okay. Um, but the thing we loved about CrossFit was it kind of incorporates nutrition and recovery and so we kind of went down a clean eating pathway and then when we decided to, um, we, we bought a block of land to build our house on, we built this massive shed and we thought oh let's build our own CrossFit box in there. And then we thought, well, it's a big shed. Why don't we look for a distribution business? And the thing with Kilcliffe is it really fitted with our own personal values. Yeah. It's healthy. 
Um, you know, it supported recovery, which as masters athletes, we realised we need to be on the ball with. Um, and so we just reached out to Kilcliffe, put a business case to them, and we flew over and met with them. And we really loved their philosophy as well. They're very down to earth. Um, small company sort of feel about them, even though they're quite big in the States. Yep. And um, it was just something that really fitted with um, my husband and I, our, our philosophy, I guess, about eating clean, fueling self properly and recovering properly. And, and it's a fun, fun brand. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Are you the only, and so you guys are the only distributors in New Zealand? Is that correct? Yeah. Yeah, we're the exclusive wow. distributors. Yeah. So, awesome. yeah. Really? So we yeah. chip out to um, anybody that wants to be a wholesaler, like other gyms and CrossFit boxes and cafes and all sorts yeah. of things like that. Yeah. So what do you guys as the Kilcliffe distributors do for the community? So we're really big on the people and um, it might be something a little bit different to other companies might um, tend to get heavily involved in events and things like that. But we really want to build sound relationships with people and um, that's kind of why we have developed, we've got three pathways that people can be involved with Kilcliffe. One of them is as a sponsored athlete and, and those are the elite that um, there's a lot of money competing as an amateur athlete in, in New Zealand. They have to spend a lot of their own money and there's not a lot of funding coming. So if we can help in any way with that, that's what we do. So we've partnered up with three um, sponsored athletes so far. Yeah. We awesome. then, uh, we've got uh, Megan Gifford, also known yeah. as Megan. Um, so she's on the pathway to Tokyo 2021 now um, yeah. in Olympic lifting. Um, we have Jack Laker, who's our teenage CrossFit demon, and so yeah. he's monkey around at the CrossFit Games. And then we have Matt Gordon, and he's a para uh, Olympic bench presser, awesome, and he's yeah. well, twenty twenty one. Yeah, bro, you yeah. know what that means? Uh, bench or straight bench or straight <laughs> <laughs> bench or. We've, we've got a very cool bench set up down here. Um, Matt actually lives locally to us, and he comes, and we've got a big fat Thompson pad at a rogue, and he. Reckons it's like bench pressing on a mattress. <laughs> wow. Right. Oh, awesome. right, so what, so, what's that, sorry? I was just going to say, and then we have two other ways that people can be involved with Kilcliffe. And oh, yeah. Yeah. One of them is our um, bad acid. So that's um, where people, they may still be an elite athlete in their own rights, but they're an influencer within their chosen sport or industry. Yep. And um, we've teamed up with them. And a great example of that, for example, is Gary Jones. Yeah. Um, Gary is based at a CrossFit Tomata, and he's um, a legend in his own right, having been up to the CrossFit Games a number of times. We partner with Luke Brewer, again, another really well-known and well-respected um, person in the CrossFit scene. And we've also partnered with Reese Carter, who's New one of New Zealand's best motocross racers. Wow, awesome. That's wow. so awesome. Yeah. Um, the board athletes and people, eh? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. Um, so, um, yeah, we just really try to um, get out and support the people that support us, I guess. So if it's a, a gym or a CrossFit box that stocks Kilcliffe and they've got a wee event or a, a party coming up or yep. something like that, <laughs> we, um, you know, we like to support the people that support us. Awesome. That awesome. is awesome. The, when you're looking for to kind of, I guess, sponsor ambassadors and athletes and all, all that kind of jazz, like what kind of process do you go through? Like how does one become an ambassador for yeah. Kilcliffe? Um, we usually reach out to them, interestingly enough, and that involves quite a bit of cyber stalking, I have to admit. Yep, yep. <laughs> we want to make sure that the person that fits our values um, yep. and that they're living the clean life that we like. They um, are a bit of an influencer yep. uh, and just an all round Good bastard, really. Or, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, and it is at the end of the day, it's all about relationships. And mm. so if we click with them, that really helps. So if anybody is interested in being a bad asset or thinks they can put a case to us for being a sponsored athlete, we certainly recommend that they're happy to reach out to us at um, team at killcliff.co.nz yeah. and um, yeah. be wary that we do get a lot <laughs> of yeah. approaches. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if you are a supporter of Kilcliffe, that does um, weight our decision. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. I know I remember when I first started across it, I know the I know yeah, I remember the blood orange drink they had. Um, and I remember Kilcliffe back when I started was was like the main like main drink that they had yeah, back really? then uh, before kind of others came on board. But like 
Yeah. I mean, for something that's just plants, yeah. that's pretty mean. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> What's your favourite uh, can, I suppose? Yeah, it's pretty hard. Um, so we've got, um, in the Kill Clifford cover, we've got five flavours. Yeah. And I really like the raspberry blueberry. But I kind of move around a little bit because I can, yeah. I guess. I, yeah. I get hooked on one for about two to three months and then I get sick of it and move to another one for two to three months. <laughs> I still really like pomegranate. It's um, not as sweet as some of the others, so quite refreshing. But um, oh, heck, I like them all. I'd, yeah, it's yeah. hard to pick, isn't it? It's the biggest decision of which flavour you're going to have. Yeah, yeah, it's awesome. Yeah. We've also got an, this, so we're obviously all drinking recovery, yeah. which is what you guys need right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you guys, you're doing like an ignite one? Is that right? Is that like a pre pre workout one? Yes. So um, Kilcliffe have got a performance system of drinks. They've got a, a pre-workout, an intra-workout, and a recovery. So the pre-workout is Ignite, and here's a couple of um, cans that I have here. Um, same philosophy, no sugar, sweetened naturally with erythritol. And the Ignite has 150 milligrams of clean caffeine in it from, from green tea. And what we say is that it's got all the, all the jolt and none of the jitters. So yeah, you don't yeah, get the... Yeah. The tingly face and fingers from yeah. you know. Being... <laughs> We're both yeah. 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 I'm not a fan of. Uh, I'm not a fan of that. I, I don't really have pre workouts now no, because yeah. like most of the ones I do get, it just makes your face all tingly, tingly and your hands yeah. tingly. And I'm not yeah. a fan yeah. of it. Um, something so, like yeah, that. It's the caffeine that gives you the hit. You don't want sugar yeah. in a pre workout because you're going to crash halfway through your session, and that's never good. Yep. Um, so yeah, and we've also we've got four flavors in Ignite. So yet again, the hardest decision of my day is which flavor am I going to drink? And what did you choose for today? Today I'm drinking fruit punch, yeah. and and I've got also next to me tropical thunder, which is is a really hard decision. They're both really really good. <laughs> yeah. Now oh, going awesome. just off those names, which ones would you guys go for? Ooh. I'm going tropical. Would you say tropical punch. tropical thunder? Because I like the movie. <laughs> Tropical. <laughs> That's me. Yeah. I like the movie. That'll be me. I know the punch. Yeah. Tropical punch. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Well, there's a um. So I hear that there's a. Well, you're just speaking out of it right now. Down. Uh, are you in Tiarpa? Yeah, we're down here? in Tiarpa. I cut it. Yep. So yep. Here's, uh So I hear that you've got a pretty dope setup down there uh, in terms of a gym. Can you tell us yeah, about that. Yeah, we do. That? Yeah. yeah, we do. Um, so we decided to build ourselves our own private um, CrossFit box. We actually affiliated, so it's called CrossFit HWPO. Yep. Yeah. Hope you know what that means. Yeah, yeah. yeah. hard yeah. work pays off. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, we've got our CrossFit box here. Um, we picked up a container of Rogue equipment when we were over um, meeting with Kilcliffe. So it's a Rogue exclusive affiliate. And we've also built a rehab suite in here, which has a, a float pod, a sauna, a plunge pool, and then a massage room. So, oh, um, master's so living the dream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I reckon. <laughs> Recovering well. I've heard about dream those hard. float pod things, eh? Yeah. I always wanted to give them a go. Yeah. It's like you're going to dream. Yeah. Or, you know? Or to hosting your team down here and having a bit of a throw down together and maybe a recovery sesh, and you can try the yeah. ice bath. It's, Chills oh. down to about four degrees. Wow. Yeah. Well, we're going to have to make this happen like, real soon. Eh? Yeah. Yes. We'll definitely have to make it happen and have a quick trip down there and see you guys. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah, we just call this complex Killcliffe New Zealand HQ. And yeah. um, it's something that we, it's a private facility. So, we don't have any members in our affiliate. It's just for my husband and I, and he's got a training partner. But we open it up to our Killcliffe family, of which RXD Brief have now become. Yeah. 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 So we invite any of our athletes and badassers to come in. We had um, Megan and her husband, Callum Gifford, come down this weekend, and we had a couple of sessions with them. They stayed the night and took um, took an ice bath. Well, Megan did, but Callum was too much of a pussy to do the ice bath. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad you said that. It's so funny. That it's like so a good. running joke. Like, yeah. I think every episode we always mention Callum and we always give shit about it, like, about <laughs> something. So it's funny that you're doing it too. <laughs> yeah. Part of the parcel. Yeah, part but of the yeah, parcel. But, yeah, we'd lo love to host you down. It's a, a pretty exclusive access. But, um, yeah, you've made the you've made the cut. 
Yeah, oh, awesome. epic. Super grateful. Super grateful. Super grateful. So what's uh, in terms of going forward uh, with Killcliffe, with yourself, uh, where do you see yourself going or do you have any future goals in the near future? Yeah, well, we'd still like to um, distribute to more um, gyms and CrossFit boxes and health clubs and cafes and things throughout New Zealand. I mean, in our opinion, people shouldn't be putting crap in their bodies and there's way too much of that out there. Um, Ignite now is a fantastic replacement for energy drinks and um, a lot of people are using the Kilcliffe Recover to get their kids off soda and fizzy. So we would love to take over the world or just New Zealand to start with anyway. Yep. Yep. <laughs> um, we're also going to be at a couple of events. We'll be at the NZ Nationals Individuals and Teams. Um, we've got awesome. the DC competition in Te Arawa, Rotorua. Yep. And, um, yep. yeah, working with a few other people on a few bits and pieces and um, helping our athletes reach their goals where we can. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I'm, I'm just, I just want to say, Gillian, I'm super grateful that we've teamed up together and uh, we all get to share this journey now. Uh, as you know as well, we've just started out and we're just chipping away, chasing what we want, what we see for the fitness industry and, and to team up with you guys that have good values and meet the same values as us is epic. So again, thank you. Yep. Thanks, um, Mike. You're really yeah. excited. And you guys are the bomb. And um <laughs> see that you're going places and we're just a big company too. And I think if we link arms and go together we can smash it. Definitely. Yeah, I really appreciate it. So. Awesome. Oh well I think uh well, uh, in terms of today, we're just a quick one today, but I'd like to thank you, Julian, mm -hmm. for coming on to, yeah. to the show and giving us your time. Uh, it means a lot. So um, for anybody who wants to find out more about you or wants to find out more about Kilcliffe, where should they go? I think go to our website, www.kilcliffe.co.nz, and all yep. the information is there about our drinks, and they can also find our email on that if they want to reach out about sponsorship um, or come and see us at an event. And yeah. you try some perfect, perfect. All right. Is there any last things that you want to say to anyone? To Probably just another thing is that we um we have partnered up with a charitable trust called uh, No Duff, nice. and they um, they support any um any person that served in any of the armed services, be it navy, army, yeah. Air Force, whatever. Um, and we donate a percentage of our sales to people who use the discount code No Duff Warrior. Um, wow. So I encourage people to support an organisation like that. They're reaching out and helping people in distress, and I think it's really important. And um, yeah, no, that's that one. We were excited to be hanging with the RX debrief, and yeah, yeah come down and work out. Remember, I'm a masters athlete. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sure you'll, you'll hold your own. You'll probably still be. You'll probably still beat me. <laughs> It'll still beat me. <laughs> I can't wait. It'll be heaps of fun, guys. I really look forward to hosting you down here. No, oh, awesome. yeah, we'll tee that up soon. Yeah, yes. really. Thank you very much, Thank Julian, for coming on to our show. Thank you, Lee, uh, bye. Wish you all the best, and we will see you soon. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, team. Thanks, right. Julian. Thanks, Thank Julian. Bye bye. Thank you. Oh, all right. Okay, producer Ben, when are we organising a roadie? We're going down to Tauraha. I don't even know where Tauraha is. If you say the Yeah. Yeah. It's not far from here. Yeah. Oh. Nah, that would be great. I just want to go on that plate. I want to see you guys. I want to see you guys. I want to see you guys. Yeah, yeah. We've got, as a, you know, cross the street. I've probably been to the warm-up. I've probably been to the warm-up. Jesus. Uh, all right, team. Well, uh, all right, team. So with that, we put our new sponsor to Club. We need to go over how to win. Uh, in the future. Boom. Yeah. So guys, every two weeks we will be posting out a Hill Club challenge. Um, which well, you have to try and beat me at the Hill Club challenge. And if you can, you have the chance to win a nine pack of Hill Club. Um, but you have to be following the RX debrief, uh, following Hillcliff New Zealand, and also when you do your challenge, you just tag both RX debrief and Hillcliff in it as well, and then that'll give you the entry to win yourself some wonderful oh, Hillcliff. How easy is that though? Easy, yeah, it's <laughs> easy. Or, or the easy part will be beating me. <laughs> yeah. The hard part is tagging everything. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be that guy that doesn't tag the right, tag the right people, okay? Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, you'll miss out on a slab of the chocolate covered cat. 
Yeah. But just yeah, make sure you like us, like them, tag us both, and then beat me. And then beat me. To be fair, you can do some pretty crazy things. I was like, yeah, I was like, y'all talk to each other. I was like, I can't do I can't one up. Yeah. Anyway, Steve. Yeah. Uh, that's all for the show today. Phil Cliff, thank you very much. Yeah. And that's us. I reckon you're reaching out. Phil Cliff. Phil Cliff.